Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> now, this is gonna be for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, <clears throat> I just thought, oh gosh, Mercury, but you're good, you're good, okay. So, this is gonna be for week one. For those who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Courtney. Um, so again, week one, okay, May 2021. 2021, 2021. Okay, what are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> yeah, you got a challenge. You got a challenge. You got a little bit of a challenge. All right, Gemini. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Gemini. So, <clears throat> I don't want that to fall off. Current, currently for Gemini. All right, that's your challenge. Current for Gemini. Ace of Wands. All right, so your challenge is the Nine of Wands, not giving up, okay? Right now you're like, fuck this, I'm giving up. It's like I had an idea, I had a spark, I had this, and now it's like, Bam. And it's, it's clearly not lack of confidence or who you are or morals, okay? It's, you have no desire to entertain something right now. And with the Nine of Wands, you know, being the challenge, you, t you don't ever really want to give up, right? But to me, see, it's like, it's like someone else not wanting to give up. But right now, you're not having it. <clears throat> how she, how he or she is feeling? How he or she is feeling, please, Gemini. Because right now, you're not having it. Yeah, they're like, how do I communicate? I miss an opportunity. Fuck. Somebody's all up in their emotions. Okay. Um, Eight of Wands, Four of Cups, Knight of Cups. Okay, this is somebody who probably didn't tell you how they were feeling, is emotional about the situation now. This is somebody who was focused on the past. Okay, something they lost. Um, it, it's, it's definitely that type of energy. But this is somebody who wants to reach out to you. You got a lot of fire here. You could be dealing with fire. Um, but now somebody is like, shit. You know, it's like they're going to have to battle to come back around. Uh, what you don't see coming, please. Oh, another challenge. Taking an adventure. What you don't see coming, please. Alright, this is, this is moving on from anything that was petty. This is... This is like tough for somebody to go after this because they can feel your resistance. But the the lack and the no more petty, that's good. Because somebody was focused on the wrong thing and now they're not. Now they're determined to move forward. But they know they have to come towards you. And it's not that you're unhappy. Okay. Because um, it, be, it would be this way you know, going towards more sorrow. No, this is getting out of this. Um, moving forward. Kind of hoping somebody is not too bent out of shape, you know, too bent out of shape with the, the one that did reject you. Or they're feeling like you're going to reject them. It's the Four of Cups. This, this energy feels like they missed an opportunity. You could be dealing with somebody who drinks. I missed the opportunity because I'm so caught up in drinking. To me, it's more like an emotional thing right now. But um, this is somebody who realizes they missed an opportunity with you. And right now, you have no desire to entertain this situation. But... This is your overall energy. Well, this is your overall energy, but the challenge is, do I, do I work on it or do I not? Because you're not somebody who likes to give up either. But 
I don't know, you're not having something. Tell me about possible outcome. You got the star. This is lack of hope, desire, no strength, and the hierophant. So this is this is somebody who's on defense. This is somebody who wants this. Somebody is missing you. I think it looks like you might end up in a relationship. <clears throat> Or you're leaving something behind to have that. But this is a possible outcome, which I don't think is linked to, well, it's supposed to be linked to you, but I'm telling you how I feel right now as the reader, and I'm telling you it's, it's like linked to them. Let's see about your past, which could have been two minutes ago or two years ago. Past the Gemini. It's like you didn't see it. Emotional, it could be secretive. I, I don't really feel it like that. It's just, you probably were, let's just start with the moon. Tell me about the moon. <clears throat> it's like something was kept from you. Yeah, your past wants back. Your past is rolling back around with the six of cups here. Rolling back around, rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Somebody wants a second chance, or you wanted a second chance, or yada, yada. I, I think you turned your back. Someone else had this energy today. It was earlier. I think it was Taurus. Um, because you're you're not you're not having it. Sorry, Sheldon's up walking around playing. Um, could have been deception. Could have been another woman. Something with your past and a second chance. Maybe you thought you could have a second chance. They thought you can have a second chance. It's second chance is all over the board here too, like this. So when somebody's not really evaluating what's what went down. Again, whether it was six minutes ago, six months ago, six years ago, six weeks ago. Okay. Um, your past. There's no question it's coming back around. Something was hidden. If you ask me, though, I, I like I feel like this is you. And you, you turn your back. Right now, you're not having it. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. The Gemini. Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, I see you're you're solid right now. The uh, there had to have been too many people in the picture or something. You're not you're not having it because the Magician reversed is like oh I don't even use that word I must have crook, but not crook as in like a crook. That song came to me something like shook you shook now here you go now here you crook now here you shook i don't I mean, somebody wants to comment it's an old school rap song shook made you look i, I don't know something was was not good it was tricky could have been dating somebody Friends with benefits, or it's just a friend. Could have slept with them once, or twice, or 300 times, okay? Um, but right now, you're like, fuck that. You're holding yourself a very high standard. You're moral. You're standing your ground. You're beautiful. You're independent. Now, this energy is like, shit, I want to reach out. I got a lot to say. This is, It's almost like this person's like, oh, my God, I got to spill my guts. They're afraid you're just going to reject them. Somebody else just had that too. I think it was, um, it's it's titled. It was either, I did write it down. It was Libra. Afraid of rejection. And you might have nothing to do with Libra. I'm just saying in general, guys. Okay. Um, so let's 
Let's look into this real quick. How do they think or feel? This is somebody who wants to communicate, reach out, and text, thinking about how to do it. Yeah, they're like, I don't want to juggle anymore. That's because something's over. It's dead. You squashed something. Tell me about the can of cups here. Yeah, see, now it's like all of a sudden they don't feel stuck. And they're making a decision to step in. So you're going to hear from somebody. I just don't think you're having it. <clears throat> They're not talking yet. My throat's closed. All right, tell me this is what you don't see coming. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is somebody who's like not accepting that it's over. So somebody could have been moving on from a situation that could have been a third party, could have been so many things going on. But moving forward, it's like calmer waters here. Yeah, see, you're blocking it, though. This is somebody who didn't put effort into something. Somebody who wouldn't make a decision. It's like one of those things, like, now that you're just like, mm, forget it. They're like, wait, hold up, where are you going? Tell me about the possible outcome. It looks like you're going to end up with something you want here. Yeah, see, this is healing from a situation. It's almost like you didn't have the strength to leave a situation, but now you are. Justice is coming. Justice is around the corner for you. You weren't seeing something. This is the end. Like, you weren't content. You weren't happy. Like, you're healing from a situation. You're no longer sad. It, it's a shitty dynamic, but you're healing. I feel like this is somebody who wants to bring balance back in. Could be dealing with a, a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Could be any sign. We have every propensity within our chart troops. This could be someone who learned a lesson, too. Keys on a ring, money stands, decisions, unconventional, unconventional one night stands. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like I said, it, like something, like I don't know if you feel like you got played. If if you got played, they're getting played. Like what goes around comes around. Something went down between a, a relationship, a family, something. I don't know if somebody into, came in the, into the mix, watching stalking, got karmic relationships. So you got a karmic here in this section. I don't think it's the karmic that wants you back. I really don't. Yeah, see, someone's not telling you how they really feel, not showing up, addiction, co-depression. So something karmic is stopping them. But see, we have the boat. It's the same thing here. It's like you don't see it coming. It's like receiving what you need, progression, arriving, you know, moving on from closures, something that was especially karmic. Like you are leaving a scenario. And right now you're just, I don't know what happened, but you're not having it. You put your foot down. Some of you guys, it was not all karmic. Because there's still something fixable here. You might not want to fix it. But someone's going to take the initiative to fix something. What's he or she want you to know? Well, not what they want you to know in general, okay? 
I love unconditionally. We'll be together again. Yeah. See those. So th I, there must have been some type of karmic situation that needed to wrap up. So I don't know if you guys went into something as friends as benefits or just you know friends dating hooking up. Nothing serious. You know you're single. You're good. But they still did something wrong. But apparently they're becoming a better person. So like I said, like something needed to get wrapped up. Because you weren't having it, whether it was, you know, dating or just, you know, you're still holding yourself in high standards. You, you know what I mean? Which is great. Going out, having fun, taking care of yourself, shutting down tricky shit, shutting down shady shit. So careful if you're making your choices here. This looks like something's definitely like wrapping up. But um, it's, it's odd. This happened in a couple other readings today too where this is supposed to be your possible outcome. But the possible outcome is being affected by he or she. It's, it's like whatever's going down with he or she, you know? To me, you're blocking it. You're like, frig that. You listen to your intuition. It's like, I'm smarter than that. I can get that anywhere. Okay, so it's not like a fantastic reading, okay? But it's it's not awful. Let's see what's next for you real quick. Wow, 16 minutes in, huh? Recognition. See, somebody now realizes who you are. And to me, it's, it's, it's too late. You might want it. You might not. Okay? But right now, you're not having it. You're not fighting for nothing. It's like someone needs to be open. You want it back? It's going to come with conditions. And unconditional love does not come with conditions, right? But there's... There has to be some type of conditions. Like, there's boundaries that are clearly needed, troops, okay? So, if you don't want this back, then all good. Don't don't have it back, all right? You, this might be you actually shutting this down and being like, I'm done with this shit. And next thing you know, this was here the whole entire time and you didn't see it. And it's not with who you thought it was, Okay? Some of you are definitely better off blocking the situation because they didn't put jack shit into this anyway. To me, this is like, ah, I'm listening to my intuition. I'm out. I'm not, I'm not going to cry over this. I'm not shedding tears. Are you kidding? You had patience with somebody. Someone screwed up. And, and, now, and now you're out. life because nothing's holding you back now you kidding me yeah you know queen of wands and the, the nine of pens confident strong take care of yourself lessons learned someone didn't appreciate it they took advantage of, of what they had i think you realized who who this person was to you possibly but they didn't realize vice versa Okay. Um, they are wrapping something up. They do want to come back together. So I, again, it's, it, it's a given. Your, your past is coming back or it already came back. It's, it came, it hit you up eight minutes ago when this video started. And when you click off, it's going to be there. All right. Or someone who's been in your life for a while now. Some of you, it, it, this is fear of rejection. They do love you. They, it, but it's like they needed to wrap something up. So I, I think you started off as in like dating friends, you know, and it's like, oh, but something needed to wrap up before something could kick off or you just like go kick rocks. But regardless, you're in brilliant energy. I'll see you on Patreon for the extended. I love you guys. Have a terrific week. Bye. Love you. Bye.